Money Motivators. Uh, it's Alex from AJ's Lawn Care. I look a little bit different from last time you guys seen me. I want to say you guys last saw me into July of 2022. Uh, it's currently February 8th, 2024 at exactly 9 p.m. Um, last time you guys saw me, I was about to start my senior year of high school. Uh, I've already graduated. I graduated uh, last June 2023, and now I'm here at college. I go to a military college, uh, obviously. Um, no affiliation with the channel. Uh, it's just, you know, it's my life, so I'm going to be in uniform, and it's not really an option to be in civilian clothes to uh, record. Um, kind of rebranded the channel, not doing landscaping anymore. Um, so I guess I'm just going to um, model the channel after my life. I always enjoyed YouTube, so... I figured you know, I've already got a platform, might as well build off of it. New channel, um, calling it B3, bikes, barbells, and bullets. The three things I like. I like motorcycles, kind of my thing. Barbells, big gym guy. <laughs> Don't know if you guys can tell, but I've lost a little bit of weight since last video. And uh, bullets, you know, I'm actually with the Marksmanship Club for the school. We do a lot of cool stuff. We get to go off, um, we have off campus um, events where we're able to go to shooting ranges, spend the weekends there. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much just chronicle my life throughout, um, my time here, my time at home, my time with, the uh, um, at the gym, on the motorcycle, whatever it may be. Um, and build off of that, hopefully, you know, get to share some of my crazy and silly stories that I've got with you guys. Okay. So uh, I figured, you know, why not start this first video of the, I guess, new channel. I mean, I saw my old long care videos up. But I um, figured I'd start it off by saying, you know, telling you guys kind of the story of how I got here, uh, what made me choose a military college over whether the workforce, regular college, military, whatever. So basically, I'm going through my senior year. Um, I turned 18 uh, back in October of my senior year. And um, I got a motorcycle, got really big into those. I'm still pretty, pretty overweight. Um, did the motorcycle thing for a while, um, still in high school. I rode it to school and everything. That was pretty cool. Um, so after that, I started getting the second semester. And I'm like, I kind of got to figure out what I want to do. Uh, I was planning on enlisting in the uh, Marine Corps. Unfortunately, I was nowhere near the height and weight requirements. Um, I want to say I weighed in at 235 pounds at five foot six with no shoes. So. It's a little out of the weight range. Uh, for context, maximum weight for 5'6 is like 168, 170, around that area. Uh, so slightly over it by a couple of pounds. But um, so I was like, you know, I can, I got to get, I got to get right. I got to get on my fitness. I got to get this weight down. Uh, this is coming, and May is coming up. Graduation's June. It's, we're in May. Um, I've already been accepted to this college that I've applied to. I always kind of want to keep my options open. I applied to three or four different colleges, two military colleges, um, and two regular colleges. Um, and as May, I started, you know, I started eating right, started trying to get in a little bit of cardio, try to burn off some of the calories. A little tip for you guys, it's a whole lot easier to not eat those 100 calories than it is to burn off 100 calories. And I, I'm not saying starve yourself by any means, but for example, like if you see a brownie on the table, it's a whole lot easier to not eat the brownie because then you don't get a hundred calories. Whereas if you eat the brownie, then you got to go and burn off a hundred calories. You know, I was, sort of try, but I was keeping myself in a major calorie deficit, almost at an unhealthy level, but I knew that I needed to lose so much weight in a certain amount of time. So I kind of did like what I needed to do. Um, I just ate bare, bare minimum just to keep my, um, just keep my body going. Um, I was probably at a freaking three, 400 calorie deficit uh, daily. And, um, so I did that and I started, I came here in July for the, uh, summer program, um, basically transitions you from high school to college while instilling military values, physical fitness, and allowing you to take classes and get academic credits. I took advantage of that program. Uh, by the end of that, I had gone, from, I got there, I was around 212 at the end of that program. It was month long. So I'd gone from 212 to 180, 30 pounds in a month tells you guys, I was a sweating my tail off constantly, b working out a lot constantly, and c I wasn't um, eating hardly anything. Like I was super unhealthy about it. Don't recommend doing it the way I did it. It worked great, but don't do it, please. Um, but at the end of that program, I was one eighty, so I lost about thirty pounds. 
I had about a 10 day break. I came back in August for matriculation, got my head shaved bald. That was pretty fun. Uh, not really. We had, uh, they took our phones for a week. We had our hell week and everything. Um, by the end of the hell week, I was down another five pounds. So in a week I lost five pounds from there and I was eating, it was just so hot. It was like 95, like 105, 110 heat index. Um, so humid around here too. So you got all, you got the humidity and the heat. Um, so I did that, and then I just kept kind of working at it. And by the end of um, October, beginning of November, I was down to 165 from my original weight. Um, so then I was pretty much maintaining my weight, and I just recently started to try to get my weight back up. And right now I'm back up to around 173. I weighed Tuesday, like I said, it's Thursday, um, but I weighed Tuesday morning. Or I'm sorry, I, that's weighed Wednesday morning. That's what it was. So I weighed Wednesday morning. I was 173. So about a little over 24 hours ago. So I'm finally getting there where I'm eating um, more calories than I'm burning. I'm still working out. Um, I've got a lot more muscle mass than I did when I was at 165 and a lot less fat mass than when I did when I was at 235. So that's overall really good. So, yeah. Okay. So um, that's the first B. You guys got the story behind the channel. You got the story behind the barbells. Um uh, Here's the bikes. So, uh, like I said, I mentioned in the first part of the story, I got my first motorcycle um, three or four days right after I turned 18. I got a tattoo one day and got a motorcycle the next. I was I was doing it all. Um, I got a 93 Harley Electroglide. It's blue. I'll see if I can throw up a picture. If I can figure out it in the editing, I can throw up a picture of when I got it. I still, like I said, I was fat then. That was way before, because that was 2022. I didn't come here until July 2023. Um, so I got that. Um, it's been it's been giving me hell, but uh, I've rebuilt the motor a couple of times, top end. Uh, recently, just got a whole new, got the entire motor rebuilt, new seals, new freaking cylinder jugs, new head or heads redone, all that good stuff. We had a uh, Andrew's EV twenty seven cam put in there. Um, it's good to go. Um, it's back home in North Carolina. I'm in South Carolina now. It's in North Carolina, I got. Spe uh, I got speaker lids that hold two six by nines in each lid. I got those. Those were in the paint shop when I left to come back after Christmas. So when I go for a home for spring break in about a month, I'm going to pick those up, put those on, and I just, it's going to be good. But I got that. I started uh, riding with the club, uh, prospected, and then patched in with the Red Knights Firefighter Motorcycle Club. Not 1%. I want to clarify that. Not 1%. Not claiming to be 1% not operating similar to a traditional three-piece one percent um more so it operates more similarly to a riding club however it is an international motorcycle club um i don't my views don't represent theirs not directly affiliated my channel is not affiliated with them i just enjoy riding my bikes with some of the guys that you know do the same stuff that i do great family environment the guys give you the shirt off through their back if you need it so i really enjoy that um road I had a lot of, but like I said, I had a lot of problem with the bike, so I couldn't really ride it too much until I got this uh, new engine. I, I'm pretty much pretty much a new engine put in, like everything was redone. I got a new, I had to get new cases because the case ended up being cracked, cracked, and it was leaking a good amount of oil. So all this different stuff was redone. Um, it's good to go. Like I said, it's good to go now. I just got to put my speaker lids on, and um, I got all this different modifications done. It's great. I love it. Um, so I really cannot wait until I can go home and ride that. And hopefully, you know, at some point, ride it down from uh, North Carolina down here to Charleston and, um, you know, be, go down streets. And uh, Charleston's beautiful in the springtime and summer. I absolutely love it. Extremely hot and humid. Beautiful, nonetheless. Still, like I said, I was fat then. That was way before, because that was 2022. I didn't come here until July 2023. Um, so I got that. Um, it's been... <sighs> It's been giving me hell, but uh, I've rebuilt the motor a couple of times, top end. Uh, recently just got a whole new, got the entire motor rebuilt, new seals, new freaking cylinder jugs, new head or heads redone, all that good stuff. We had a, uh, Andrew's EV27 cam put in there. Um, it's good to go. Um, it's back home in North Carolina. I'm in South Carolina now. It's in North Carolina, I got, spe uh, I got speaker lids that hold two six by nines in each lid. I got those. Those were in the paint shop when I left to come back after Christmas. So when I go for a home for spring break in about a month, I'm going to pick those up, put those on, and it's, it's going to be good. But I got that. I started uh, riding with a club, 
um, prospected and then patched in with the Red Knights Firefighter Motorcycle Club. Not 1%. I want to clarify that. Not 1%. Not claiming to be 1%. Not operating similar to a, a traditional three-piece 1%. Um, more so, it operates more similarly to a riding club. However, it is an international motorcycle club. Um, I don't, my views don't represent theirs. Not directly affiliated. My channel is not affiliated with them. I just enjoy riding my bikes with some of the guys that, you know, do the same stuff that I do. Great family environment. The guys give you the shirt off to their back if you need it. So I really enjoy that. Um, road, I had a lot of, but like I said, I had a lot of problem with the bike, so I couldn't really ride it too much until I got this uh, new engine. I, I'm pretty much pretty much a new engine put in. Like everything was redone. I got a new. I had to get new cases because the case ended up being cracked, cracked, and it was leaking a good amount of oil. So all this different stuff was redone. Um, it's good to go. Like I said, it's good to go now. I just got to put my speaker lids on, and um, I got all these different modifications done. It's great. I love it. Um, so I really cannot wait until I can go home and ride that. And hopefully, you know, at some point, ride it down from uh, North Carolina down here to Charleston and, um, you know, be, go down streets. And uh, Charleston is beautiful in the springtime and summer. I absolutely love it. Extremely hot and humid. Beautiful, nonetheless. Okay, so there's a third B now, Bullets. Uh, this one, I'd say it's more loosely tied in, but nonetheless, I still, you know, I, I big firearm enthusiast. Uh I'm part of, like I said, I'm part of the marksmanship club at the uh, school I attend. Um, but we get off-campus privileges uh, sometimes to go to different ranges, fire different weapons, test out different builds and stuff. Um, great community of guys. Like I said, they also give you the shirt off their back. A lot of these great organizations that I've been a part of, been able to participate in and be a part of. Um, I recently, you know, I started getting bigger into it myself. Nothing too crazy yet. I mean, hence I'm at school. Not going to keep one here. That'd be a bad idea. Um, but, uh, you know, back home, I, um, I've i got my own uh, little 22 Plinkster that I've had since I was like 12. Um, hopefully, going to start an AR build soon, and we'll get on that. Okay, so that's pretty much going to do it for this first video. I just wanted to uh, establish, you know, the new channel. I uh, go from AJ's Lawn Care to B3. Um, cover the story of what between last video and this video i cover what each b stands for and um just pretty much introduce you guys to the channel um if you're new welcome if you're staying from ages long care thank you and welcome uh if there's anything you guys want to see in videos go ahead and drop it in the comments um make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications and i'll see you guys next time peace out